Hello everyone and welcome to ES Repair again. I'm your host, the Wiz Kid. Today we're going to show you how to fix a door jam. What it is, this door, I've already done the bottom one, had to trim it out a little bit. It's got two locks on it, the doorknob and the deadbolt up here. When you shut it, of course, I already had the same problem with that and fixed it. The bolt that goes out is below the lock opening, about a quarter of an inch. So it's got to be moved down so the bolt there can go in it, the dead bolt. In order to do it, somebody's already cut it out before and put a different lock and door on it. You gotta have a Phillips screwdriver, hammer, a decent hammer, rubber mallet possibly, good sharp wood chisels, various sizes, and possibly a drill and a good drill bit for wood. Start by taking a screw out. Depending on what kind of screws. Depend on what kind of screwdriver you need. Usually Phillips nowadays. And you can see my two little kitties out here. Mommy cat and little kitten. Some random cattage. Okay. Be careful not to drop anything. Okay. Now, here's where your wood chisel and your grill bit if you need them. Come in. Back, kitty. As you see, I've already had it off investigating it, and I've already marked how it needs to be. How much you got to take off? Sometimes when you do that, you might have to relocate your holes, put bigger screws in or longer ones, or make yourself a new faceplate thing there. And remember, just take off a little bit at a time. Put your sharp end of the chisel with a beveled edge to the front, like that. Kind of a little. Do the same thing over here. Careful how you do that. You don't want to overdo it and split the wood. You need to take a little bit off at a time. And as you can tell, my chisels are too sharp. How much you need to take off depending on how far out your lock bolt comes. And when doing this, you can maybe be able to use a hole saw or whatever you need to get it done. And you need to use safety glass, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, so what is yours? Shut up, Nick. We left him at the house. Yeah, uh, whose fault's that? I'm not going to name names. We're 
We're going to try to see if it starts to work. It's working pretty good just like that. Just a little bit more trimming. But this time I'm going to try to do it the drill bit. Get a good sharp twist bit. Might be able to force a bit, whatever. Battery get weak. We're gonna charge it. A big charge, but should say so much about mine. Nothing wrong with the manual labor. Now I'm back to the wood chip. I have got to buy me a good set of wood chips. But I just sharpen those. You got a grinder. But I ain't an expert wood chip. We're going to try it again. Kind of had to push it on the door a little bit, but so to fix that, I'm going to take a little bit more off the front here just a tad. Same angle. <laughs> yeah, you're going to mess your door up a little bit, so when you get done, you have to do a little sanding and priming and painting. Just a little bit. Now to try it again. Works like a charm now. But we ain't got the face plate on it yet. Turn your light on. Take it easy on. Oh. See? Now we'll have to try the face plate again. Hot pole still fine. Bottom hole, on the other hand, I may have to uh, re drill it. I'll have to re drill it just a tad. First, we'll get the top one started.
And you may have to, re like I said, relocate the screws. And Now to try it again. Uh oh, he shut me out. You are going to let me back in, right? It ain't working. Need to move over this way. plate is too far in so we gotta move it over and redrill the holes and line it up where I trimmed it. That was easy. You want to line the edge, inside edge here up with that, naturally. Which would be about right there. You gotta get even with the bottom too. Kind of like right there. Try to get a little square. You want to drill your hole the size or two smaller than your screws so it'll be able to bite the thread. And you make we need to make sure your hole is deep enough. Through here and start to strip out. Then line it up again. Sure it's bottomed out where it needs to be.
You may have to keep a line in it, move it around the light in it, and shim it to get it where you need it. Or if anything, you may have to make your own face plate out of a piece of metal that size. Yeah, I know it's a little crooked, but we'll try it. I was going to say that. Catch allowed. Yeah, I know it ain't good on the wheel, wood chill, but it's all I got at the moment. Try it again, may have to do more just. Hey, it's working. Now I've got dual locks on it. Of course, most of the time we'll pretty much use that one when we're here. Probably so trying to keep me out. That's a good idea. <laughs> kind of peg it down a little. See, I've already had to retrim trim that nap before. Well, there you go. Now you know how to adjust your own door lock for a good idea of it. So you can lock your deadbolt. Same principle for all door locks. See? This has been an episode of ES Repair. Thanks for watching.